um, known as underwater water underwater rainforests coral reefs are home to around 25 percent of marine species but threats such as overfishing and rising sea temperatures mean more and more lay grey and lifeless. And now a pioneering initiative to try to restore them is taking place in Indonesia, as our science editor David Shukman can explain. It's one of the most shocking sights in the underwater world, when corals die, either because they're damaged or because the sea becomes too hot for them and they turn into what looks like a graveyard. When you dive on a reef, and it's just quiet and it's all monotone greys and it's desolate. It's so depressing. <laughs> the solution, pioneered by Professor Smith, involves whole communities in Indonesia. They take these metal frames, called reef stars, and fix them to the seabed. Fragments of live corals are attached to them, and the result is a revival of a habitat that many depend on. You see fish come in, you dive on it one day and you'll see the small fish sort of finding a home in the reef stars and amongst the coral. Six months later, medium-sized fish. The whole ecosystem responds when you give it this chance of, you know, sort of kick-starting the system. The latest reef to be helped in this way is called hope. The word is spelled out in the new corals and the aim is to apply the same technique in other areas around the world. Over the years, there have been dozens of attempts to try to bring reefs back to life, some more successful than others, and they've all been on a really small scale, as with this latest initiative. So there will be questions about it. It's funded by the pet food company Sheba, which uses a lot of fish in its products. So can this venture really make any kind of difference? Well, scientists I've spoken to are impressed by the way that reefs that were once dead are now being revived. And because the task is so huge, they welcome funding from big name companies. The business is involved and with dependent on, on fish and marine resources to actually invest in restoring the ocean um, and recovering depleted reefs is a good thing. Um, obviously, with business, you always have that extra filter of scrutiny. And because most corals are threatened, as global temperatures continue to rise, any attempt to save even small areas will need real determination. David Shukman, BBC News.